Louis Garrel talking about his new film, The Innocent, and here's Robbie Collin with his thoughts. Yeah, what a lovely interview. I have to say, I was stunned to hear that this was an autobiographical story um, because to me, watching it, it felt like the whole thing had spiralled out from one excellent but very constructed idea, which is this, I suppose you'd, you'd say it's the film's central act, which is that you have two people with no acting experience whatsoever. This is within the world of the story, of course, uh, Naomi Merlon and uh, Louis Girl have got lots of acting experience, but their characters have none, and they have to perform a convincing distraction during a truck heist. Now, I, I don't think it's too, I don't think it's spoilery at all to delve into this. I think we're, we're allowed to say what, what they, they have to pull out. So, so basically, once Roche Zem's Michel uh, integrates himself into, into Abel's family life, he helps uh, Abel's mother set up a florist. But in order to secure the premises for this florist, he has to get into some slightly dodgy dealings with uh, organized crime. And one of these, uh, the, the, the central thing in, in, in the film is that he has to pull off a caviar heist. Now, stealing haute cuisine has to be the most French premise for a stick-up film imaginable. But this is what he has to do. While this truck delivering fine seafood is parked at a service station and the driver is in having his... Uh, a uh, very, very French service station meal involving uh, steak frites and eau flottante, uh, which is a cut above the KFC that we stop for. Uh, he, uh, Michel has to then suddenly un unclipper the back of the lorry and remove the, cra the caviar cases and, and make his escape. And in order to detain uh, the driver in the truck stop for long enough for this to occur, uh, Abel and Clémence, who's played by Nomi Merlon, have to stage this very elaborate lover's tiff yep. that the truck driver is going to be uh, become entranced with. And as Michel says, you know, you need to give him things that aren't in his life. You need to give him a bit of sex, you need to give him a bit of violence, a bit of drama. Uh, this is going to completely captivate him. And I suppose it didn't strike me at all, but the fact that this is in Lyon and they're putting on this kind of first performance ever, there's a kind of a weird synergy there with the, the Lumiere kickstarting of cinema thing. Anyway, um, this entire sequence is so well done. I mean, even from the, the the rehearsal scene that precedes it is hysterical when they're trying to work out how to improv with each other. And it turns out Michel has himself, uh, because he does the workshops in, or had done the workshops in prison when he met Sylvie, um, is this incredibly accomplished actor and a real natural. And there's a lot of great humour uh, that springs from uh, the, the two of them not really ever fully understanding when he's pretending and when he isn't pretending. And then when the, the scene itself kicks off and they have to, 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 to give this performance, um, they, they really convincingly play people who can't act, but then that they warm to the task while they're doing it and also in the process each other. They're not lovers, they're colleagues initially. They both work at the same aquarium, which is <laughs> such a great kind of um, off-the-wall location choice. And, and, you know, goodness, Garel absolutely milks it for all the visual loveliness that that can provide. You know, you have scenes where there's fish swimming around and sharks and things. And it's, 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 it's all very well handled. But anyway, you have this, uh, this great, gripping, funny centrepiece um, and beyond that, it felt to me like the rest of the film had been built as a kind of a scaffold to hold this thing up. That's why it really surprised me to hear that actually the truthful bit, the bit that this sprang from, is the idea of the mum marrying the the man in prison and then him coming out and, and the son having to reconcile to this. Because all of that, you know, natural true life stuff feels like it was confected in order to hold up the bit that was invented, which to me felt like the first idea. Now, look, I think that, as I say, the performances in this of people who can't act are are wonderful. I think Noemi Marlon, it doesn't surprise me whatsoever that she won the Cesar. She's so good in this. And as uh, Louis said in the interview, you know, we've seen her play Intense in Tar, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, Paris 13th District as well. You know, these really kind of uh, soul-scouring roles. And to see her play Girl Next Door Guilelessness in the first place, I it really threw me. And then when she kind of discovers her own acting expertise deep within during the, the truck high sequence, it's incredibly satisfying. So look, I, I, I will say that I think the good stuff in the middle, absolutely, this film is worth watching for that alone. Um, some of the surrounding stuff may be a little bit boff, um, to, to, coin, to coin a French term. Um, <laughs> that's not a French term I've heard since school French. <laughs> exactly. That, that's the word we all love to use in school French lessons. Right? I, had, I had that written on a piece of work once in red pen. Um, <laughs> but, but yes, look, this is not a, 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 a equi remotely equivalent. You know, I'm not writing red pen all over, all over the innocent. I think this is a, it's a really decent film. But what surprises me is how much the made up bit felt like the real reason to make it and the real reason to make it felt like the made up bit. And a lovely uh, use of 
80s euro pop french pop on the soundtrack i mean i had the old shazam out mm. uh to uh the phrase i never thought i'd use um to to check what these songs were i mean not songs i knew but by performers like Gerard Blanc and Herbert Leonard and Catherine Lara, these wonderful kind of uh, evocative 80s French pop songs. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermode and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.